In this video, we are going to learn about the radius bone. The radius bone is also known as radial bone. It is the horizontal long bone of the forearm. It is one of the two bones of the forearm, the other being the ulna. The radius is shorter than the ulna and is prism-shaped long bone. The radius is homologous to the medial bone of the leg, tibia. Now let us discuss various parts of the radius bone. The radius is a long bone which comprises of three parts, upper end, shaft, and lower end. We will be discussing each of these parts individually starting from the upper end then shaft, and then will end with the lower end. The upper end provides head, neck, and radial tuberosity. The head of the radius bone is formed like a disc, and it is covered by an articular hyaline cartilage. It articulates superiorly along with capitulum to create humera radial articulation. The circumference of head is smooth and articulates medially along with the radial notch of ulna. Rest of it is surrounded by the annular ligament. The neck of the radius is the constricted part just below the head and is embraced by the lower part of annular ligament and TTHE quadrant ligament is connected to the medial side of the neck. The last part of the upper end is, the radial tuberosity, which is situated just below the medial portion of the neck. Biceps tendon is inserted to its rough, posterior part and a small synovial bursa covers its smooth anterior part, and separates it from the biceps tendon. Coming to the shaft of the radius bone. The long shaft provides a lateral convexity extending between, the upper and lower ends. It broadens towards the distal end, and is concave anteriorly in its distal part. On the medial side of the shaft, its sharpest interosseous border is located. The last part of the radius bone is lower end. The lower end is the widest part and provides five surfaces. The lateral surface projects distally as the styloid process. The dorsal surface provides a palpable dorsal tubercle. Lister's tubercle, which is limited medially by an oblique groove. The details of borders and surface of shaft and lower end are well discussed in the article. Lastly, let us discuss various muscles that are attached to the radius bone. Flexibilis longus muscle, flexor digitorum superficialis, radial head, abductibilis longus muscle, and extensibilis brevis muscle. Mark their origin from the radius bone. On the other hand the biceps brachii, supinator, and pronatus muscle, mark their insertions into the radius bone. If this video helped you, do like and share.